Before we add an image, we need to create a section first. And let's choose a structure with two columns. Let's say we have on the right side one heading and some text under of it. Now on the left side, let's say that we want to insert an image. And to do that, we need to choose the image widget and drag it on the left side. Now this is the placeholder. Let me also add a background color to our section so we can see uh, the background better. Let's make it a grayish color. Okay, so let's click on update and our page currently looks like this. Now on this placeholder site, we can insert our image and to do that, just click on this placeholder, click on this box under this choose image text. And now you can do two things here. The first one is if you want to upload a brand new image, select upload files. And from your computer, you can drag and drop the files you want to upload. Currently, I have some example images here and I'm going to use one of them. Let's choose, for example, this one. And before we insert our image, it will be good to fill out this uh, empty fields here. The first one here is the alt text. The alt text appears when the image cannot be shown. So you can basically write here a basic description like coffee. Okay. The title can be automatically generated from the name of the image, but if you don't see it there, you can give a name to this image like cafe scaled. The caption is the additional description that we see under the images. Let's write here test. Okay. And this description appears uh, under the search results. If you write here something, it is also good for SEO. So you can describe here shortly what this image is all about. Let's say, for example, a view from cafe. Click insert and we can see our image there. Now let's start editing our image. First of all, if you are not happy with the current image you uploaded, you can hover here and click on this button to delete the image. Okay, now the image is gone. The second one is the size of this image. Currently it has chosen as large, but you can change it from here however you like. For example, if you choose the thumbnail size, it will be much smaller. If you choose a medium size, then it will be a little bit larger. By the way, the full space of the image we can use is between this blue rectangle. And if you choose here, for example, full, then the image will take full size of this light blue rectangle. You can also assign a custom size if you like. When you choose this one, you can give here a width let's say 200 pixels and the height again 200 click apply and now we have a square size image but i don't recommend to give a fixed height to images because it will probably look bad on responsive devices like tablets or mobile devices so it's always better to leave this empty and the image will be assigned an automatic height so let's click on apply and now our image looks better proportional. This is the alignment option that you can choose. If you click on left, it will go to the left of this blue rectangle. If you click on right, it will go to the very right. And if you make it full size, then this option is not going to work because there is not enough space. The next one is the caption. Currently we don't have any, but if you choose the attachment caption, here we can see our caption name that I have assigned before, before I inserted this image, as you remember. And if you choose the custom caption, you can basically assign here a new description. Let's say, for example, new test. Okay, now it appears here. If you click on this button, you can apply dynamic tags, but this is actually a pro feature. You will be able to use this dynamic tags if you buy if you buy Elementor Pro. Okay, now let's continue. You can also add a link if you prefer. If you choose the media file option, it will bring here a light box option. Now, what is this light box? Let's click on update. The light box is when the user clicks on this image, the image will appear on a larger size. You can view it full screen, you can zoom to the image, or you can share it. The next option is custom URL. If you choose custom URL, you can basically give here a link that you prefer. Let's say that I assigned Google as a link 
and if you click on this options it will give you additional options such as opening the link in a new tab or a new window or adding a nofollow attribute or adding any additional custom attributes this can be also important for seo purposes so let's say that i choose this open a new window option and now i click on update i come here and i click on this image and let's say open it in a new window it takes me to the google website and let's continue with the styling features now currently we have an automatic sized width but if you prefer you can assign here a new width as a percentage or as a pixel size you can assign a maximum width if you prefer so the image will not be larger than any given number here you can also assign a height to your images but i don't recommend you to do this because it can look bad on uh, different devices so it's better to keep it empty you can add an opacity feature which will give some opacity and you can add some additional css filters such as some blurring brightness some contrast or you can make it black and white from here you can just play around with these options however you like let's take them back to default you can assign a border to your images if you like you can give some size to your borders if you choose here a bigger number you will have a bigger border you can also assign a color to your borders or if you prefer you can also add some border radius to the corners of your image and now the corners of your image will look more rounded if you like you can also add some box shadow you can assign a color let's make it a green color you can give some horizontal and some vertical width and now you can see the box shadow here a little bit and the second option we have here is customizing the caption currently it is hard to see the text here so let me change this text color to white for example and i can also center it you can also give a background color to your captions let's make it a reddish color you can also change the typography from here you can give another font family if you like you can change the size of your captions you can change the font weight and also the other options from here and finally you can add some spacing between your images and your captions if you prefer now let's move on with the advanced tab here on the first menu you can add some margins or some paddings to your images you can assign an animation if you prefer so let's update it let's refresh the page and when the user first comes to the section this little animation will play you can also change the duration of the animation you can make it slow or fast or you can delay it you can add an additional background behind your images if you prefer you can add a new border if you choose this mask option it will give your image another shape currently we have a circle shape here selected but you can give here another shape if you like to your images you can change the size you can change the position currently it is centered if you want to show another side of this image you can choose for example top left then it will show the top left of the image and this is basically choosing whether to repeat the image or not the positioning option will give you an inline or a full width option and you can choose an absolute or a fixed position from here these are basically css properties and if you don't have enough css knowledge then i don't recommend you to use this part you can also assign some responsive options like if you prefer you can hide the image on desktop or any other devices and finally you can add some additional attributes or custom css to your images but again to do that you need to use the pro feature you can find the link below in the description part of this video if you decide to become a pro member and use my link to do that i will earn a small commission from elementor and if you do that it will be a great support for my channel so thanks in advance